Jordan, kind of a wild last year for you and uh, finishing up at North Dakota, coming into Texas, playing a few games, and uh, and then being dinged up at the very end of the season. What's this off season been like you uh, been like for you to prep for this upcoming year? Um, it's kind of sucked, honestly. Um, not being able to do much after I got hurt. Um, you know, and then coming down here um, three weeks early before we went to Traverse City and not really skating before that, just with my, you know, not being able to and not being allowed. So, um, you know, not a usual uh, summer for me. I think uh, didn't uh, didn't quite do as much as I wanted to originally before I got hurt. And um, But, you know, it's the way life works and you just got to move on. So with that prep kind of being halted, how big was the prospect tournament and development camp for you? It was nice just, uh, you know, kind of get back into swing of things just a little bit. Um, obviously, it's not as, uh, high as pay, how high of pace as, you know, playing with, uh, you know, NHL guys on the ice. But, um, you know, it was nice just to take that step forward and um, being able to just, you know, being more of a team setting rather than, you know, just summer skates and that kind of thing. So it's been good so far. And, um, you know, that, uh, that development camp Traverse City was, was pretty helpful for me. With those few games that you played and just being around the pro game, what was the biggest takeaway you had from the differences from North Dakota to going to pro? Yeah, I think, I mean, at, at school, I mean, we, I think we, we play in one of the best conferences um, in college hockey, and it's so fast. And, you know, it's fairly defensive and, you know, pretty structured. But um, just making the jump, I think, you know, players in the, in the AHL, they think the game just a little bit quicker. Um, you know, and it's just that kind of thing. You know, everyone can skate. Everyone can, you know, obviously guys are going to be older, a little bit stronger as well. But um, just the, the way they think the game is a little bit faster, um, maybe a little bit smarter. But, um, yeah, that's, that was probably my biggest takeaway. Initially, Dallas, Austin, Cedar Park, everything. What's your been your impression of Texas? It's been awesome. Yeah, um, you know, spending time uh, in Austin last year for a little bit um, it was really fun. I got to uh, hang out with the guys a lot, especially after I got hurt. Um, got to hang out with the guys a lot and just kind of see Austin a little bit more. And it was, uh, it's a great city. And then coming here a little bit early, I got to see Dallas just a little bit, not too much, but. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. I, I really like Texas so far. It's, it's really hot, but, uh, you know, I'll get used to it. Overall, when you look at training camp and now into day two, uh, what's kind of your big goal uh, to take away from training camp and, uh, and going into the season this year? I just want to have the best camp I can. Um, obviously, you know, everyone wants to make Dallas Stars. That's why you come to training camp, right? But um, at the end of the day, there's a limited amount of players that can be on the roster, so um, I just want to have the best camp I can, and um, wherever I end up, I end up, and just go from there, and just have the best season I can. Um, you know, and I'm just I'm excited for this. My first year pro, so I'm excited to see how it goes, and um, you know, just play some hockey. Best of luck. Thank you.